Geek Squad is, is doing some great things with uh, Microsoft and with Vista. And um, we basically got an interview set up for you with Steve Ballmer. He's a very normal guy and really is a geek at heart. I mean, he loves to game, he loves computers. It's Windows from Microsoft! He comes in um, and it's like seven o'clock in the morning when we're talking to him. Oh, hey Steve, how's it going? I'm Agent Fody. Nice to see you, Good nice to, meet to you. see you. Agent Strauss. And he's pumped. <laughs> The very first thing that really popped my head is he might be a little unstable. There's a lot to be excited about. It's basically what it comes down to. <laughs> I love this company. Yeah! Probably not as good of a dancer as Agent Von Trapp, but he's got a little bit more animation to him. We went out to Microsoft to um, have a little chat with Steve about some of the things that. Um, people are most concerned about. Mind if we ask you a few questions about Vista real quick? You bet! <laughs> so what aspects of Vista are customers really getting excited about? It really depends on who you ask. We built Vista to be a great operating system, both for consumers and for businesses. From a business perspective, we're getting great feedback on the new security features like BitLocker. You can have the option to use BitLocker drive encryption to lock up your entire hard drive uh, to prevent data loss. If your laptop gets stolen and somebody can't pull the hard drive out of it and access your files. The network access protection, or NAP, to you geek squatters. Uh, they like the new group policy features for better desktop management. And some of our large customers have really been pretty excited about the cost savings that they can realize through some of the new power management features. For, you know, just individuals, consumers having fun, we're also getting a lot of positive feedback. A new IE7, new media player, the way search is woven into everything people do, and people really love the new user interface. And I think Vista will be by far the best PC gaming platform we've ever put in the market at least uh, amongst my uh, teenage boys. When Vista first came out, it was receiving a lot of really rough reviews, and then all of a sudden there's kind of this turning point. What happened? I've personally been running pre-releases of Vista since May on my own machine. Uh, it's a process we sometimes refer to as dog fooding, or eating our own dog food here at Microsoft. And occasionally, I gotta say, I'd hit an issue or two, and I'd always send some feedback to the product team. The response has been great, and maybe it has to do with the fact that I'm the CEO, but seriously, the Vista team has really done an incredible job in the past few months, cleaning up bugs, improving performance, enhancing security, focusing on the fit and finish. Most agents have heard, been heard about it for years and years. In fact, a lot of them have even seen uh, previous screenshots and you know, maybe even demonstrations of the old stuff. Uh, there are a lot of things that are different, there's a lot of things that are similar, but uh, generally I think the public has been kind of a little apprehensive with Vista coming out because they've been hearing about it forever. Since uh, our first release candidate, there's really been no going back. I'm running the second release candidate now, it's awesome, but really there was such a big body of work and such focus on this on closing down. And frankly, when it's all said and done, we, we will it'll take us as long in the end game from the first beta to release with Vista as it did with Windows XP or any other big release. Microsoft uses a performance rating of one to five to kind of gauge a computer's performance. We've got a computer that's tricked out right now as we're on a 4.8. What do we need to do to kind of get to that next level? Well, the index is something we created to help people kind of easily determine some of the key performance capabilities of their machines. There are actually a number of machines in production today that do score five or higher. The rating goes up to 5.9, I know you guys know that. And at the end of the day, maybe not everyone needs a five. A casual user, for example, can be very happy, even perhaps with a score of two. My laptop's about a four, which is more than enough to support my solitaire habit. <laughs> Uh, but a hardcore gamer, on the other hand, probably will want a five. We hear a lot of feedback from consumers about uh, how third-party filtering parental control software sucks. Uh, Best Buy even stopped carrying a lot of this stuff in their stores because nobody was buying it. How's Vista going to help with that? I do think the built-in parental controls is one of the coolest features of Vista. Uh, it really you know, tries to solve this problem of letting parents control what their children can 
and can't do with the machine. Microsoft has finally said enough is enough and they have taken it to kind of the next level. In Vista, every account you create after the initial account is limited. You can't make system changes to it unless you specify that you want it to be an administrator account. That's something that's going to help our users out a lot. And there are five basic areas where we think these controls can help. Web restrictions. This helps parents control what sites their kids can access. That one, needs, you may want it to be a dynamic list, but we're really counting on the parent in that first category, which works perfectly, frankly, for a lot of things. Time limits. These control what days of the week, times of day, and how long a child can use the computer. Games control manages what games can be played based on ratings, content, and title. You can block specific programs similar to games that just block software that parents don't want their kids to use. And then there's activity reports providing information on what websites the kids are visiting, how long they've been online, how many emails they've sent and received, who they're exchanging messages with, etc. This notion of actively screening and filtering every website, I actually think we'll get there systematically. One of my favorite features inside the prompt controls is actually just the disable downloads button. You can actually set up the user with no restrictions, no internet restrictions, no gaming restrictions, and just disable all file downloading. That's really where spyware and viruses have come in over the past you know, couple of years, is just people downloading things that they are they really don't know what they are or they shouldn't even be downloading to begin with. Another quick question for you, Steve. When was your last data backup? Uh, two weeks ago, actually. <laughs> two weeks for a backup? Come on. I try to back up every couple of weeks or so, but you gotta understand, I am an atypical user. Yeah. I don't think most people are that back. Well, you know, with Geek Squad's online data backup service, your computer could be backing itself up right now. I think Microsoft <laughs> Corporate Security might think they ought to do it instead, but I know it's a great service and from the Geek Squad. Thank you very much, Steve. We appreciate your time today. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Appreciate it. Steve Ballmer owns a computer. My theory is if you own a computer, you need Geek Squad. <laughs> Plain and simple.